Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of The Last Roman Village. This game key was provided by Indie Boost, and there is a link in the description if you'd like to check it out. This video is not sponsored, but I thought you might be interested in this because it is very much in the vein of Kingdom. And uh, for those of us that know Kingdom, well, you're going to know exactly what kind of gameplay you're in store for here. And personally, I feel like even though the art style may not be everyone's taste, I feel like it is quite charming. So as you can see right here, your main goal is to protect the Emperor. Enemies are attacking on both sides. Choose wisely for every coin you spend and protect the last Roman village. Now houses create villagers every three waves. Villagers automatically repair broken walls after each wave. They can be trained as soldiers and archers. Now, the way that you get gold in this game is a little bit different than how you get gold in other similar types of games. And in general, I haven't found a way to improve the amount of gold you get. But what we are going to do is we're going to upgrade our barracks initially. As you can see, there is a wave timer as well, so it's a, maybe a little bit faster pace than Kingdom. I'm not entirely sure about that, but anyway, the point is, is that we're going to go all the way out here and we're going to go and upgrade a house. We need a house to be able to get our villages, as you can see, our villagers, shall we say. And I'm going to be getting one of them to be trained as a soldier, and he's going to come over here. We're going to just start wave one immediately because it takes a bit of time for the skeletons and various other enemies to make their way across the map. And you may be wondering, what's that guy over here? What's this guy doing right here? Well, he is actually a slingshot user. So he's kind of the guy that will defend the emperor if you don't have any other defense. And he can also contribute to, uh, well, basically if you upgrade the emperor, you'll gain more of those slingshot guys on the tree over there. I'm not entirely sure what else upgrading the Emperor actually does. I would not mind maybe getting an archery range or something like that, but I am going to need to get a another house and uh, various other things beforehand. Uh, there's a wall here. A wall might be pretty good, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to call for my infantry to come over here. I might actually build a mill. That might allow me to get some more gold. So I think I might actually try to do that already. Let's try and do that already, because you get gold at the end of every wave. So it might make sense. Oh, okay, so we actually get 10% additional HP, I guess. I guess that's what, I guess that's what that is. Anyway, I'm going to just move my, uh, my little guy there. You can actually command your units, which is a little bit different than uh, what you would expect in kinds of games like these because in Kingdom you can't really do that. They generally tend to run around and do whatever it is they do by themselves and uh, well in general the games like it don't tend to have direct control over things like that unless you are kind of just suggesting to them that they go over in that particular direction. Now I do have a way of attacking directly with my character here. Usually that's not the case in games like this, so that's a it's a nice little change on things in my opinion, because that actually does make it possible if you build the correct buildings to destroy waves of enemies yourself, and you don't actually have to worry about building units if you don't want to. You know, you can do the uh, the dirty work yourself. So yeah, it's actually uh, kind of a cool idea there, but they've made it so that the ability you have to actually deal damage is not reusable, so to speak. So you need to build more blacksmiths and more woodcutters to be able to gain more spears. And uh, you can throw spears. So I'm going to actually just show you here. I'm just going to throw a spear. Boom. Oh, wow. That hit him in... Ah, uh, well. Mm, uh, yes. <laughs> that hit him in a place which we probably shouldn't have. But, uh, well, we're not getting that spear back at the very least. And uh, I don't think we would want to. Don't think we would want it back, shall we say. Anyway, let's see if our uh, if our little infantry guy here can handle the big goblin slash troll. I'm not entirely sure if he will be able to, but I think I've done a pretty decent amount of damage with the spear. Ooh, okay, there we go. He, he was able to do that. Oh, we gained some money. Nice. We actually gained some money from 
the enemy dying there. So that is great. You know what we're going to do now? We're going to build another house. Where is a house? Uh, you know, I'm going to... I've only got 55 seconds, so I've got to be a bit quick here, you know? I've got to, you know, make, uh, make my moves. And we're going to go over to this house, and we're just going to build that. I only have four gold remaining, which is really... Uh, I really hate having such a small amount of gold, but that's the challenge. That's the challenge. So what we're going to do is I'm actually thinking I will get... I'd love to get a healer, as you can see right there. I'd love to get a healer and an, and an archery range, but I can't get either of those things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to train another infantry, and we'll see if that makes a difference. Because having two infantry is probably going to be pretty good for us. And obviously, I don't have any spears now either. Oh, you can actually upgrade the houses as well. That's pretty cool. I did not know that. So that's that's nice. Yeah, there's the woodcutter there as well. So we're going to need quite a lot of gold to be able to, you know, actually survive here. So I'm hopeful that the two infantry that we no doubt we'll have now will be able to defend us against the... Uh, oh, oh, wow, he's taken a long time to get here. This is not good. This is not good at all. Okay, what we're going to have to do is I'm actually going to call my infantry towards me because I don't want the guy at the very front here to get murdered by himself. I'd like both of our forces to fight each other. And it seems like we do have a spear. So it seems like you get a throwing spear as a default, and then you're able to use it every single wave, no matter whether you have a woodcutter or not. But you can get additional throwing spears by, as I say, building woodcutter, building blacksmith, and so on and so forth. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Can they actually destroy the house? I'm a bit worried about that. I'm a bit worried about that. Oh, there's two skeletons. Okay, that's actually fine. Boom. Take that. Take that. My throwing spear against your bones. Probably not going to... Oh, can you, can you come back here? Yes, come back here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm actually saving him now. Look at this. I'm actually saving him from dying right now because I don't want him to go up against two skeletons, if at all possible. I would like him to fight with his comrade in arms. And maybe in legs as well. Yes, I had to make that terrible joke once again. All right, come on, guys. Let's do this. Break their uh, 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 what? Uh, okay. <laughs> why, why did you do this, infantry? Why did you do this? Why did you let your comrade just die? Oh, well. Uh, yes. Great, isn't it? That is fantastic. I was actually hoping that we would have... Something a little better there, but okay, never mind. Uh, hmm. Well, we have two enemies. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna train another one. Why not? I'm just gonna train another one. You know what? There's another strategy that you can do here, which I think I probably would have preferred, because it would make sure that you can retain as many units as possible, and that is... Building an archery range. And then building a bunch of archers, maybe two, maybe one, doesn't really matter. And then building a wall over here. That's probably going to make more sense than uh, doing anything else. But yeah, as you could see, the, the two infantry, they did not really help each other. They kind of just stood next to each other and didn't actually aggro on the enemies, which was not very good. So maybe what I should have done, because I am kind of invincible, it doesn't seem like I can be killed. So... Hey, come back here. Come back here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where's he gone? Why is he standing back there? I want him to come over this way, please. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, yes. So I, I hope that we don't have two, two trolls now or two goblins or whatever they are. I hope that we don't have two of those because we're going to have some problems then and we will probably die almost immediately. So, oh, now they're standing on each other. Oh, fantastic. Okay, that's that's really good. So it seems like I needed to use my command a little bit more often there. And we'll see what we can do. I'm hopeful. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, so it's a goblin and a skeleton. So I'm actually going to use my spear against the skeleton because that's actually going to kill the skeleton with one infantry hit. So the spear does a lot of damage because usually it will take them about four or five hits to kill a skeleton, normally. And uh, I just hope that they won't... Oh, you know, one is actually... I personally feel like one of our guys is going to die. I think he is probably going to die, let's face it. Uh, okay, well, let's try... Oh, my... Are you serious? You absolutely... Oh, you foolish, 
foolish fool person. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, this... <laughs> this is not going well. This is not going well. Right. Yeah, so as you can see, you do have to be a bit careful with what you spend your coins on. And I think maybe going for the archery... Mm, the archery strategy is probably going to be a little better. And personally, I feel like we're going we're gonna to lose now. But it really depends on how effective our slingshot units over there in the tree are going to be. How effective do you think they're going to be? Probably not that effective, let's face it. They just have slingshots and this is a massive troll slash goblin. So let's see what happens. Maybe the infantry dealt enough damage to be able to... Uh, defeat him but I somehow I somehow I don't think so as you can see he's not actually doing that much damage which is actually fantastic and the Emperor is apparently a beast who is able to take many many beatings so yeah I actually don't even know how much damage the slingshot does I would assume probably like one damage or something like that and I have no idea how much HP the troll has so it might be nice to have some some health bars or something like that oh there we go there we go all right so that's dead now we have 13 gold and we have zero workers yeah zero workers so what are we gonna have to do here well we are probably going to have to get another house because that will then enable us the ability to get another villager straight away and then we have to choose. Well, basically, I can only do an infantry, can't I? That's not going to work. All right. It seems like that is indeed a failure on my part. But I'm actually going to try the archery strategy. You don't have to watch my progression up until that point. But once I have a wall and an archer up, we'll see if that's a little bit more effective. Okay, so it seems like we have our archer here who is hiding behind the wall and wow the wall is actually really strong as you can see. So, oh, actually maybe not. <laughs> I thought to myself, oh yes, it seems very strong. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't seem that strong. So yeah, we were able to actually do quite a bit there. So if only, ah, oh, you know, if only I had more villagers. Literally, I have four gold right now. I would be able to recruit more archers. And that would make things much, much easier for us. But uh, that doesn't seem to be the case. We are going to have a bit of a problem here. But I'm actually wondering if this wall is destroyed and there's another villager that spawns on wave three, because that's what happens. It spawns, you know, spawns a villager every, uh, every three waves. If that happens, is it going to restore the destroyed wall or is the wall just going to have to be rebuilt by me? Not entirely sure what will happen there but hopefully it will be the previous thing the previous option but we'll see anyway let's try and use our spear and hit the guy in a in a, <laughs> in a better location I was going to say I'm terribly sorry Mr. Troll yes that's uh, that's not very good is it no not very good at all oh well never mind okay so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hopefully have the troll pretty far down hopefully he's you know gotten a bit of damage on him and thankfully the archer does seem to be a little bit more responsive in terms of its aggression than the infantry is because the infantry does tend to need to be attacked before they actually do much so thankfully the archer does have a little bit more a little bit more of that punch to them and I'm pretty happy with that and then after this after this wave hopefully the the troll is going to be coming relatively soon here but after this what I'm going to do is I'm going to try if I can to see whether if the wall is still intact I'm going to let the villager repair the wall as much as possible and then I'm going to be considering I have eight gold technically I could get an archer tower which might make sense but then I think to myself well maybe it would make more sense to get another archer and then we'll have two archers and a wall and that might make all the difference but as you can see uh the archer seems to be having some oh yeah there we go fantastic i was really worried there for a second i really thought to myself oh no he's gonna die no seems like he was able to achieve a kill right there uh now here's the issue i need another house it seems like on wave three they don't give you the villagers that you would want so unfortunately it seems like every three waves so that means wave four i guess 
maybe that's what it that's maybe that's what's going to happen but anyway what's going to happen here is hopefully in the next 40 seconds we will get this villager to come over here hopefully he will automatically come over and just do his best to repair this i'm pretty sure he's going to there we go he's actually going to repair it i don't know how long he's going to take is he serious about this do you see that do you see that health bar do you see the health bar on the wall that is ludicrous i cannot believe this he is taking so long this is basically like me going over there and and repairing it i am terrible practically so yes this is basically like me going over there with some i don't even know tissue paper and being like here wall oh and now he's just given up because the wave started oh dear i actually thought he was going to continue <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Okay, let's get him to go and train as an archer then. Maybe we're going to get something going here. Uh, yeah, if I'd known that, I probably would have just built the archer tower and, you know, just had at it, I suppose. But uh, that doesn't seem to be the way we are going to have it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Yes, exactly that. I'm actually going to, wait a minute, I'm actually going to tell these guys to come over here, and then I will tell them to go this way. There we go, fantastic. Okay, they're both in perfect positioning. This is going to be great. I hope. I hope. Now, the one thing that we must remember is that if we get overrun, do bear in mind, they're, they're, they're just skeletons, and I'm going to use a spear on them, so they, they should actually die pretty quickly, I feel. But... Let's just, let's just bear in mind what, what we can do. Now that we have archers instead of infantry, we can actually take these archers and we can just run back with them. We can call them back, you know, uh, because we do have, obviously, direct control over them, technically. And when they're attacking and beating on the old guy, you know, the old emperor back there, we can basically have free reign to shoot at the enemies. So we don't necessarily have to build a wall here if we didn't want to. So I could have saved eight gold so technically i could have gotten another house There's, there we go the skeleton's already dead are they going to are they going to begin shooting yes they are shooting the other one yes that's a bit of a problem though isn't it okay let's tell them to come back here can can they get, oh they can't retreat it seems like they can't retreat while when they're in when they're in battle okay that's good to know that is very good to know okay so we have a villager who is now up and running so technically we can make him into an archer as well because obviously in games like kingdom generally the best thing that you can do is get a huge surplus of archers because they will generally hunt things for you they'll be able to uh you know hunt rabbits and get gold that way and so on and so forth these guys don't do that though i think getting a mill would probably give you something. Mm, I, I wait, wait, wait a minute. Didn't we get that in the in the previous uh, in the previous previous try? Yeah, we, it gave us an upgrade, didn't it? Yeah, it gave us an upgrade of like health or something like that. Let's have a look at what else we have available here. We have a house, and what else is here? Archer tower and another wall. Whoa, you can be really really aggressive against the enemy. As you can see, they're actually coming out from this dark fog here, and uh, yeah. So I suppose. I suppose that's it. You know, I suppose that's uh, that's all I really wanted to show you with uh, with this game. And if you'd like to check it out, there is a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching and for joining me, and I will see you next time.